everybody. Welcome to this episode of Living Baggage Free. How are you guys? It's so good to be here. I'm so excited. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. My name is Olamide. And as you know, um, a few days ago, so we started, I started this um, series on a career and entrepreneurial motivation. Uh, but this particular episode is for the younger ones. So it's either you just uh, finish the university and try to find your feet in the job market, or you finish for a while, you've been the university for a while now, and you may be finding it quite hard to get a job that you like. And maybe right now you're just trying to get by, trying to make a living and all that. So your, this episode is really for you. Okay, uh, I'm going to start like this. If you have um, left the university, especially the schools in Nigeria, there's a very high likelihood that you are not prepared to compete in the global job market, even in the Nigerian job market. But I want you to start thinking global. The purpose of this vlog, this episode, is to help you open your mind and to begin to think about opportunities outside the four walls of this country. Now, we're in a very digital world. Right now, the whole world is interconnected. And whether you know it or not, people in Saudi Arabia, in India, in the US, in Asia, they are looking for people to work for them. Even in Nigeria, people are looking for um, people to work for them. But the issue I found is the skill set. A lot of things that people are looking for, a lot of jobs that are available, our youths simply do not have the available skill set to handle those jobs. And most of the time it's because of a lack of information and a lack of initiative. And that's why I, I'm talking to the younger ones right now. You need to know that nobody is going to be feeding you anything in this generation. This is the 21st job, um, first century global market. The competition is high. Do you understand? So if you want to push forward out there, you have to begin to think and you have to be informed. Now the first thing before I go forward is this. How are you using your internet? Now if you are one of those who use and you love the little internet access that Nigeria gives you at the very high rate that, that you are given. You take that internet, use it to go on Facebook, begin to say very funny things that do not really that do not really help anybody. Go on Instagram, follow celebrities, begin to insult them on their page, go to Twitter, begin to cause quarrel. That's the only thing you are using your internet access for. Then from today you have to change. Because all those things they are doing, they are not really adding anything to your bottom line. Meanwhile, there's a world of opportunities on the internet. So this is what you are going to do for me. I'm giving you an assignment, right? I'm going to go on Google, take a piece of paper, go on Google, search for how to make money online. Are you listening? I'm not telling you to take any steps. So what I'm telling you to do is search for how to make money online. Get a piece of paper and write. What you are doing is called research. You are trying to get information. So you write it 1 to 40. You must look for 40 ways. Just, I'm not telling you that, okay, when you find this one, you now start doing it. No, that's another mistake that people make. Just care about something and you jump on. No, you have to make sure that you get all your information correctly. 1 to 40. List, let them list this. After you go to Google, first page of Google, second page of Google, fourth page of Google, fourth page of Google, fifth page. After you go to Google, after you finish with Google, go to Bing. Are you listening? Add another search engine. Look at another search engine for what they say. Go to other search engines. So my point is, you have to be very, very, very detailed. You have to be very, very, very um, strategic and intentional about your life. Nobody's going to just give you anything in this uh, Nigeria, in this world as it were. You're going to have to go out of your way and get information. So when you have gotten all of that, okay, this is how I'm going to do it. This is how, this is what is required. This is what is required. This is what is required. Oh, I mean, these are the opportunities that are available. 
on the internet globally you will now begin to ask yourself okay so this first one is this whole thing how can i take advantage of that opportunity do i need to get another skill this skill that i need to get can i learn it on internet on the internet you now type in free courses for some some something with that your internet that you are using to do facebook and google and uh, instagram no more how can you study something online for free that's if you don't have money if there is no such course look around you are there any is there anybody doing this kind of thing can you cozy up to them and say can you teach me this See, because you have not been equipped to deal with the way things are going right now in the world the way the job market is the rate at which technology is at, is, is progressing and is developing none of us have been equipped for it so and you see we are competing i keep on saying it we are competing with a global and a very very advanced um society so it's no longer an excuse that we are, th we are, we are a third world country no with the age of the internet there's no third world anymore so it is left to you and to me to ensure that we up our game you step it up and so i'm telling you now i told you what to do now and i'm very very serious i'm talking to you right now like you know your big auntie i may look small but i am mighty but i do say so myself so you write all those things look for all, so you do a detailed research don't just jump on anything say there's mmm you jump on it you say there's one you jump on it say there's one you jump on it don't jump on anything do a detailed research on everything how does it work what's the business model okay how, okay if i can take advantage of it how can i do it what do i need to add what do i need to learn now after you've done all that by the time you start doing all that i do number from number one to fifteen as to what you can learn, what you can do, how you can take advantage of these opportunities. You see that your mind would have changed. You will no longer feel helpless or powerless. And you will know that there are, there, are, there are things that you can do to empower yourself apart from here and now. Now, if you have written all those things down, I want you to send me an email on livingbaggagefree at gmail.com. And let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's let's look at the things you have written down. Let let me see if there's any because you see the thing about information right now is people are not going to just give you information. I don't know if you if you have realized that that right now people are very very protective about information. You just say oh how do you do this? And you know you have to pay for consulting. <laughs> you have to pay consultation fee. People are not going to hand it over to you on the plate because some people actually pay to acquire information. But there's Google now. So you Google it. Google is your friend. So I want you to send me an email if you have done that research and let us talk. And let me see if there's any way I can also inform your thinking and inform your creativity as well. So uh, this is all I'm going to take on this episode. I hope I haven't been too harsh, but I feel that right now I have to be a bit tough and harsh on our youth because we have this um, entitlement mindset that is not helping us. Okay. So uh, I want you to subscribe to my channel if you are not so angry with me because I know I've been really in your face. So please subscribe and share this uh, channel. I mean, share this um, video. And um, as you do that, I know that God will bless you and God will help you. God will increase you uh, in Jesus' name. So until I come your way next time, make sure you leave baggage free. And please, mediocrity is not attractive. I love you all. Bye.